Hey everybody, welcome back to Octopus Dicks. <laughs> Just kidding, this is a treasure galore. But if you haven't subscribed to him, you should do so. He's come out with some really, really great content. He loves the book, it seems just as much as I do. And I'm sure you'll really enjoy his YouTube page. Now I know some of his videos have been recently taken down due to copyright infringement, but still go to subscribe to him. I'm sure he'll put out some great content uh, moving forward. So this is a video I've been wanting to do and bring up a general question is that if something is, seems really obvious and it's not subtle, does that mean it's not a hint that it's just throwing us off or leading us in the wrong direction? You know, I don't, I personally do not think so. I think there's some stuff that Forrest Finn is hiding right in front of our faces and he's just amazed that no one's seeing it. Now, if this is one of those, I have no idea, but I kind of want just to make a video and show you guys something that I think is blatantly obvious, and it is Hebgen Lake and Quake Lake is heavy loads and water high. Now, I don't know if it's a specific creek or something like that nearby there, but I think this is just a general hint that says, hey, you know, the treasure is hidden somewhere in this area. So there's a few things I want to bring up, and the first is Scrapbook 15. And Dell writes, Forrest sent me this photo of him that was taken at Hebgen Lake in the 1950s. I wonder if there's a clue in here someplace. Okay, so he's at Hebgen Lake, and he's holding a paddle. And there's a little canoe right there. So in the poem, we all know that he says, There'll be no paddle up your creek. Just heavy loads and water high, okay? So he's at Hebgen Lake. He's holding a paddle. Seems really interesting, right? Okay, so this is my next one. Okay, so here again, he's at Hebgen Lake. And this is Forrest. There's Skippy and June, okay? So Forrest is sitting on a log at Hebgen Lake holding a paddle, okay? So there's, there's another reference to him having a pedal at, at uh, Hebgen Lake. So, one second, I wanted to bring up this. Um, it is Forrest Fan's Summer Vlogging. I wanted to bring this up. I think it is really interesting. I'm gonna have to find the place. Sorry, I should have had this planned out, but. His name was Billy Joe. And he had hooked Billy Joe up to a log and, and we'd snake that thing down to Hebgen Lake and put it right there on, on the, the sandy shore and we'd chain those things together and pull them tight where they come along on, on the front and on the back both and then we'd get in that little boat of his a rowboat with a motor on the back and and try to pull those things two miles across Hebgen Lake against the wind I think he had a 10 horse motor and, and I, we weren't we weren't going a mile a week but particularly when the wind was blowing I mean that boat just wouldn't even move sometimes but, because we were driving not only a heavy load, but they were a sail, you know. They were... Okay, so in this, he mentions his summer vlogging. They're cutting down logs. They're pulling them down there to Hebgen Lake, once again. And they have a boat, and they're carrying the boat, or carrying these logs with a boat across Hebgen Lake. And he says they weren't going a mile a minute because it was such... A heavy load now back to this picture right there's a log again the same thing that he mentioned as the heavy load in that video and him holding a paddle so there'll be no paddle up your creek just heavy loads and water high okay so I don't know if you remember in the thrill of the chase but the chapter my brother being Skippy page 53 he talks about this so, in the second paragraph on page 53, he says, Hebgen Lake was huge, but because it was 6,000 feet above sea level, no one ever landed on it. Okay, and then the next paragraph. The problem was that the plane couldn't take off again because of the altitude. Okay, 6,000 feet above sea level. Man, that sure seems like that water sure high to me. And he again mentions that the plane couldn't take off because of the altitude. It was so high up that he that Skippy couldn't get the plane off the water. Okay, so there's an so 
we have two references to paddles at Hebgen Lake. Then we got a heavy load comment about logs, so there's a picture and a video of that. And then you got a reference in Thrill of the Chase to Hebgen Lake being so high, 6,000 feet above sea level, that he couldn't take off. Now here's another, here's another one that I wanted to show you. Okay, so this is from the Thrill of the Chase. Um, he has this picture. This is at Hebgen Lake, right? So here's a whole bunch of fish that he caught. It's Yellowstone, and then here's Hebgen Lake, and then there's this artistic little line that goes through here, right on the side of Hebgen Lake. Okay. Now that's been this has been brought up in the past. I'm not the first person to see this, and I think Blaze of Glory actually made a video about it, and I I'm pretty sure that's where I first um, heard about this because I I never really thought about it, but could this line represent the fault line that formed Quake Lake? Um, you know, the earthquake that formed right on the side of it and dammed the Madison River and, and formed that uh, Quake Lake? It very well could be because Forrest does mention uh, Quake Lake in Once Upon a While, chapter Montana Golden, page 93. So in the first paragraph, he says, Avalanche Lake was a fairy tale spot for me in the 1940s when I was young and could do anything. It was just a few miles north and west of where in 1959 a mountain fell and dammed the Madison River that formed Quake Lake. So in the chapter, Montana Golden, it is the treasure state by the way, and he did hide gold. Could that be a hint? I don't know. But then in that chapter, Montana Golden, he mentions his fairy tale spot north and west of where a mountain fell and dammed the Madison River. Okay, so I mean that could very well be a heavy load as a whole mountain falling and damming a river right by Hebgen Lake, which he said was so high up that Skippy couldn't get his plane off. Plus, with the mentionings of the paddles. Just a thought, I'm not saying this is a big hint and you should start searching near Hebgen Lake because it, because it is probably one of the most searched areas um, since the chase came out. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys and what you think. I just think, you know, this stuff is really obvious. Maybe too obvious, I don't know. Or maybe Finn's hiding stuff right in front of our face and just laughing because he's putting all the stuff out and he's like, man, guys, come on, you know. So just a thought. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment. Send me an email. I leave my email in uh, the description box below. Send me an email. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas, uh, if this could be right or wrong. But, yeah, just let me know. I love to hear your feedback, guys. Thank you for all the subscribers. Um, please, if you think this video is awesome, please share it, you know, on Facebook or whatever social media platform. Uh, yeah, and if, you have, if you're listening to this and haven't subscribed, please subscribe because, you know, there's a lot of videos that I'm going to make that are like this. So, anyways, well, that's it for me, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.